Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kaylee and today we're going to be making Christmas treats. So I have three different recipes of things we're going to be making today. The first thing I'll put out on the screen here are these peanut butter cookie bars with sprinkles and M&Ms in them. They look super good. The second thing are Oreo balls with, I'm only going to do the milk chocolate because although I like white chocolate, I feel like a lot of people in our house generally don't. So I just didn't do that. I did only the milk chocolate. I'm only going to do milk chocolate and I'm going to actually fill these with Reese's inside. So I have like little mini Reese's I'm gonna put in those. I think that'd be really good, especially since my stepdad loves Reese's. And then the third thing are, I can't remember what they're called if it says on the screen here, but you can see what they are. They have some sort of name to them and I can't remember. But they're like the pretzels with the Hershey hugs and the M&Ms. And I haven't made those in forever. I remember making them when I was a kid, helping my, uh, well at the time, my like stepmom. I had like two stepmoms growing up. Not anymore. So that's what we'll be doing today. And no, I don't work at Starbucks. I used to a couple years ago, but I don't anymore and I still have the apron and the shirt actually so I wasn't sure if one day I'd work there again and I don't think I will now but I still have these for the fun and you know what we're baking today we need an apron we don't need an apron but I just thought for the vibes I'd wear it so let's get into it I'm so excited I'm gonna make the peanut butter bars first I'm gonna go in order with what I just told you here's some of the ingredients that we need why is there only one of these I could have sworn there was two. I mean, I think we only need one. For some reason, I thought there was two. So now I'm just confused. But there actually might have only been one. I think that's all I need. I'm just, because I need them for both the peanut butter bars and the, whatever they're called, the pretzel things. So, yeah, I could be just thinking things. There should still be enough. First, real quick, I want to show you what happened to my water bottle. So this is the one I've been using. I always pick a water bottle to use for a while. This is the one I'm using for now. And last night, I went to take the lid off. And there was a white thing in here. I, I'm not sure what it's called. But it fell in here. I can't really see it, but if I dump the water. Because I have to to get it out. Can you see? Yeah, you can see that. <laughs> so that's funny. Come on. Oh, okay. I'm actually not even sure what that yellow, not yellow. I did that all the time as a kid. I always mixed yellow and white, not literally. Like I know yellow is yellow and I know white is white, but when I talk about the colors, for some reason, sometimes when I talk about white colors, I say yellow. I don't know why that's a thing. I don't know uh, what the white circle thing is for. Let me know if you know, but I just threw it out. So hopefully it's not anything important that I need. I don't think so. Oh, also, so there's a little bit of Roxy's hair. My She's my dog that passed away last year on here. And it's like, she's with us. It's so cute. Like I've, I've washed it like it's clean but I think maybe when I was folding it her hair got on there because like I said this was a couple years ago that I last like wore this when she was still alive she has like tan fur so I don't know if you can really see but it's I feel like it's more so like I don't know it's kind of hard to tell there's a lot of lint too but yeah probably when I was folding it but it's like like just her fur her fur isn't really on anything now but this is Okay, let me grab, let me pull the recipe up because I'm a recipe gal. I don't know how to make this stuff by memory. Oh yeah, I found these on Pinterest by the way. So if you're looking for good recipes, I recommend Pinterest. Banana bread brownies. Whoa, this popped up. I was just thinking about making banana bread the other day or yesterday because we have some bananas that are getting pretty dark. So I was like, what if we just save them for banana bread? That'd be cool. Um. Okay. Okay, so those pretzel things, it just says Christmas candy pretzel hug, so I guess that's what it's called. Gotta get all the ingredients out. Ingredients you'll need. Butter. Um, um, whoa. Unsalted butter. Do we still have our unsalted butter? Okay, we do. I don't know how many we need, but we have two sticks, so that should for sure be enough. Oh, this is salted. We had unsalted. We might not anymore. Darn, we did have unsalted butter in like this exact same container because i needed it for a cheesecake but there was still extra so i thought this was the unsalted one but we must have finished that sometimes it'll ask for unsalted butter and then add salt but no it doesn't oh no it does say salt so it doesn't matter we'll just not add extra salt we'll just only have the salt in this it shouldn't mess it up too much okay butter light brown sugar oh well this is dark brown sugar I didn't know there was a light and a dark brown sugar until now. Like when I said light brown sugar, I was like, what does it mean by light? I just told my mom, or I just asked her, like, do we have brown sugar left? Because I knew that she used some. And she said she actually bought more for whatever she needed. I didn't know there was a difference between light and dark, so I didn't emphasize on that. <laughs> so hopefully that'll be fine. Sugar, we got sugar, egg, just one. One egg, vanilla extract, baking soda, and baking powder. I don't know if I ever used both in one recipe before. Vanilla extract, baking 
soda. I remember there was one time, I can't remember what I was making, but I needed baking powder for it. And I grabbed the baking soda on accident at first because that's what you use most of the time. And I was like, where even is the baking powder? I like hadn't used it in so long. And the fact that I need it for both, I need both of them for this is crazy. Of course, oh, I see it now. It's always in the back because you don't really use it that much. Okay, baking powder. I think I always think it's going to be in the same type of container too, which there might be one, but okay, flour. M&M's, Christmas sprinkles, and we'll use a few chocolate chips. Just add some chocolate in them, but, and we have another bag too. So we'll use some chocolate chips. I just, I need a lot of the chocolate chips for the Oreo balls to dip them in. So I want to be careful how much I use, but we do have another bag. I think that's all we need. Okay, perfect. Let's do this. Got all my ingredients right here just scattered about. <laughs> Set your oven to 375 degrees. This is so fun, I love baking. 375 degrees. Also, shout out to my mom. We get chores every single day. Just a couple chores, nothing too crazy. And I also do extra stuff too around the house anyways. If you guys watch my productive videos and stuff, I always end up doing like extra stuff too. Well, some of it's for me, like for my room and stuff, but like I do the dishes every night. She doesn't have to ask me to do them. I just do them and like other stuff too. I'll just like randomly clean something in the house. But my point is that today she knew I was gonna be making the cookies. And so she just gave me one of my chores to make cookies. She didn't add any more to my plate other than a little the dishwasher, but I was gonna do that anyways because I have to load the dishes after so that was really nice because i also have to like edit this too so i have a lot to do today and baking can take a while so normally my sister will unload the dishwasher but she is back in the hospital so if you've been kind of following along and in some of my videos like i'll tell you please pray like my sister's in the hospital oh she's back now in the hospital she's back here like she is back now so just please pray that she will get better that's all i'm saying sending love her way please send love her way too we'd appreciate it okay i don't know why my voice is like cracking out what the heck I'm not even sure exactly where to put you guys. What I need to invest in someday is a big tripod. So like I have a little one, you know, which I still need a new one of those. But I should get a big one so that when I'm in the kitchen, I can just put it on the floor and pretty much angle it wherever I want instead of trying to find something to put you on. Because like it's up there too high. I feel like it is. I also feel like when I bake, I kind of go all, all over the place too. I think it's also the windows right here in that light. So it just is really bright there. And I feel like that's too dark. We're gonna mix the butter, sugar, sugars, sugars, so brown sugar, to egg and vanilla into, oh, oh, I thought it cracked a little bit, into a standing mixture. Y'all, never mind, I don't like this angle. The angle is fine, it's the lighting, but there isn't really a place to put you up here. I guess I'll, I just wanted to do like right here for now. I honestly might just time lapse all this stuff instead of talking the whole time. Oh, my tripping. So, you see the measurements on here for like half cup and blah blah blah? Oh, it's not really focusing, so of course you can't see. Okay, so like starting from that line, is it just this and then over? Because the half cup's right here. Is it just that? I don't know why. I feel like I'm gonna mess this up. Oh, no, I just figured it out. Okay, see, this is why you have to look and like look things up. So, it means that this entire thing is a half a cup. Starting here from here, that's a fourth. Starting here from here is a third. Here from here is a half. That makes more sense. I just, I was like, there's no way that's half a cup of butter. There's no way. Okay, so this whole thing, that makes it easy. Throw that in here. It's not fully softened, but I forgot how sticky butter is. <laughs> Bless me. I'm also making a TikTok at the same time, so I love that. Gotta get our measuring cups out. Whoa, this is really dark. Wow, it's really dark. One fourth cup of regular sugar. Oh, that's one fourth teaspoon. I'm throwing myself off. shorts slash tiktok slash reels videos of what i'm making so if you want more like close-up mixing you'll have to stay tuned for those uh videos if they're not already out because that's where i'll be doing that part the butter just like stayed to the side i know it's not as softened as it should be but <laughs>
in a mirror. Love is an overstatement played on shuffle. And my battery's flashing already. Early to the getting the greens together part. Plenty another vlogmas video. <laughs> Not me listening to sad music while I bake. This album was just stuck in my head. No, my camera tilted. <laughs> One o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I started an hour ago and I'm only this far. No, but baking does take longer when you're filming and that's my own problem. <laughs> you know what I just realized I forgot, you guys? The peanut butter. <laughs> Um, there's only one problem though, is, um, alright, hopefully this will make sense, it's probably not going to, but I'll try my best to explain it. So, the picture I showed you guys of this recipe, when I clicked on it, I also looked at the reviews, and a lot of them were bad as far as they said that specific recipe, the middle came out underdone, and then the outside was overdone. So, I found a similar recipe where the reviews were better, but the newer recipe doesn't call for peanut butter like the other one does, but I was like, I'll just add it anyways, that's why I forgot it because it doesn't say like grab your peanut butter because this one specifically isn't asking for peanut butter I just want to add peanut butter so hopefully that won't mess it up I'll go to the other recipe and see how much peanut butter it said and just hope that it doesn't ruin it I just wanted them to be peanut butter flavored hold on a minute wait this one doesn't ask for peanut butter either where did I get peanut butter from guys I'm confusing myself maybe I just thought add peanut butter and just add no I swear I found one that said how much because otherwise like I don't guess when it comes to baking so I'm confused where I got that from hold on I'm gonna look up peanut butter cookie bars and see how much it says for that and I'll just do that and go along with it and hope for the best how much peanut butter does this say? I just hope it won't. I don't know. When baking, you have to be careful. I think that's like a cup of peanut butter. That's what I was saying, either half or a cup. Just because there's also already butter in it, too. I don't know if this recipe asks for butter. Come on, get to the- I hate how long recipe things are. Okay, so this recipe- Okay, it does. It asks for a half a cup. And that's how much we put. Okay, so it should be fine. Half cup of cream- Okay, I'll just do a half cup. That's what I was thinking. Um, I would assume you would put it to that and mix it. Because it's the wet ingredients. Oh, I didn't realize. It's our 
of that six is already almost gone. Okay, I'll just add a little bit of these ones though. Okay, that's good. Actually, these ones are tinier. That was the funniest thing. I'm just eyeballing this stuff. Like, I don't guess when it comes to baking. <laughs> I definitely put too much. But it's okay. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe not. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I could just eat that as cookie dough right now. I'll be nice. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. Since that is this video, I won't make you wait for everything for the shorts videos. I hope these come out good because it looks really good. Sprinkles everywhere. I just don't add too much of like the M&M's and chocolate chips and stuff because I need it for other things. Now we eat it. Now we have our cookie dough and now we're just gonna eat it. A little bit of your sprinkle. I could add some of these fun ones. Oh my gosh, like Felicia with her sprinkle. Or no, who is that? Jasmine? No, it was Jasmine. Jasmine from Big Brother with her sprinkles. She liked to snack on them so she hid them from the house guests. She put them in her like clothing, like her dresser. Okay, open. Oh yeah. Donkey Kong. Rib it wrong. <laughs> saying that i don't even know when it started but i've been saying it a lot and i don't know why like it's specifically donkey kong ribbit wrong i don't know i'm gonna be honest with you guys i really don't know doesn't she look cute look at the sprinkles guys and the m&ms some of them keep falling but it's okay i don't know if you guys can see but there are sprinkles literally all over this cabin. jasmine would be so upset right now have so much in the middle. That looks so good. Now we're gonna sprinkle more m and sprinkles and chocolate chips on top. Honestly, filming, baking, and making, like, filming a YouTube video, a short slash TikTok video, and slash reels, and baking all at the same time should be a sport. Because <laughs> it makes baking 10 times longer, but it's so much fun, so. I do have to be careful how many m and like I said, because I need them still. That's cool. Alright, that's good. No more m ms Chocolate chips. Gosh, this is hard, FG. Okay, I'll do some of the smaller ones. Oh, that's so cute! Actually, I'll do some Christmas trees, too. <laughs> this is so hard to use when your hands are... Oh, there we go. Just a few. That looks... So cute. Look at that. Doesn't that look adorable? Ah, I'm so excited. Hope he always makes you happy, but why? Did it have to be without me? Ow. <laughs> okay, time to finally get this in the oven. Bake in the oven for 20, 20, 20 to 25 minutes or until lightly brown. So I'm gonna set my timer for 15 minutes just to check it. Okay, oven time. Crap, I forgot I got a foam up. <laughs> How am I gonna hold this? This is why I also need a tripod so I can just put my phone up instead of holding it. Timer. So as you guys can see, they're in there. Yay! Okay, I just washed up some, uh, well, most of the dishes that I use because I'm probably going to need them for the next couple recipes. So now I'm going to do the Oreo balls. So I'm going to get my ingredients. First, the Oreos, obviously, and Reese's to stuff them in. So Oreos. Chocolate chips, I have another bag in case I need more, which I might. Also, they top them, as you saw in the picture, they topped them with sprinkles too. I haven't decided if I'm going to or not, 
maybe a few. I might, I might do some without and some with because I don't think my stepdad is a huge, huge fan of sprinkles. So like those have sprinkles in them. I know those like came with a lot of sprinkles, but these ones he might prefer mainly without. I don't know. I might do some with, some without. So he has some without too. I'm pretty sure he'll eat them with the sprinkles. We'll just, we'll do some with, some without. Cream cheese. That's it. We don't need that many ingredients. <laughs> Unless, no, hold on, there's gotta be more. There's no way that's all you need. Really? That's all you need? You don't need like flour or butter, or I mean not flour, but like, huh, anyways. Okay, I know we got cream cheese. Okay, well, I did do peanut butter bars first because I figured that one would take longer. And so I'm kind of going in order of how long I think they'll take. Finish off on one that's a little bit easy, like the pretzels. All you do is pretzels, melt the Hershey hugs on top, add m ms there. <laughs> like that's super easy. Okay, perfect. So here's my ingredients for the Oreo balls. This is what they have. I'm just using these chocolate chips. But for the Oreos, I'm gonna crush them up in my Nutribullet, because I did that last time when I made an Oreo cheesecake, and I made it. It was an Oreo cheesecake, so the crust was Oreo. So I crushed them in my Nutribullet, and it works pretty good. So I'm gonna use that again. I might have to do just a little bit of Oreo at a time. It's 36 Oreos. I don't know how many is in here but yeah i'm gonna have to do just a little bit of time since it's smaller it's not big food processor so I, get these. I keep forgetting i have to like film my shorts too you do like eight at a time oh that's the well that's just the 15 minute mark i might not be done yet but we can check Let's check our peanut butter bars, see how they're looking. What did it say to like light brown? Oh my gosh, they smell so good though. I'll give them like another five minutes. They still look a little soft in the middle. And then they always get stuck to the top. Oh, there's some, that's okay. We'll add eight more. Whoops. We're at 16. It's like, look, it literally is like Starbucks when I made like the refreshers when I worked there. Okay, they don't want to crush, so I'm gonna start pouring some into here. Some of the crushed ones. Okay, I'll just do all the 10 this time. So it goes to 26 and then another 10 for 36. Oh, there's the timer again. Instead of feeling happy, I feel sort of let down. I know how you feel about all this Christmas business, getting depressed and all that. It happens to me every year. I was just thinking about how last year I asked for a Nutribullet for Christmas because at the time I was in a company where we also had smoothies and the smoothies are really good. We have a blender, but I really wanted, since it's old and I did the smoothie challenge with it and it just, it still grosses me out. I wanted a Nutribullet to make my smoothies in. Also we make milkshakes and times. I just wanted a newer like type of blender thing, but this is coming handy for this too. So Nutribullets all the way. And I should still invest in a food processor, but this works for now. 822 too. Alright, I think that's good. My dog's probably like, will you just be quiet? I never make this much noise in our house. I'm always just like sitting down editing, you know? Quiet as a butterfly. Never said that phrase before, but okay. I don't even know if it is a, like a phrase people use. I just made it up. Okay, so it said to mix the cream cheese in. Like once the Oreos are crushed up, mix the cream cheese in the food processor with it. Obviously, like I said, I don't have a food processor. So I'm just gonna use this to mix the cream cheese because it's not all gonna fit. It's just, no, we're not even gonna attempt that. Clean up our mess. That is one thing, guys. Um, Clean up as you bake and stuff because it helps you be less overwhelmed. Unless you don't get overwhelmed by the mess, it's fine. You know, if I see Oreo crumbs, I'm just gonna clean it up now so that it helps. That way when you're all done. Oh crap, I forgot about the crap, 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 crap. Crap, I got distracted. I got these. They're brown. I'll show you. Think they look ready? I think, I mean, I think so. It's okay, I guess, if they're a little bit soft, right? Oh yeah, they're definitely done. Yay! 
guys want to see again it might have been hard to tell in the oven yeah so they're a little crunchy on the outside but it's they're meant to be like cookie bars so they're meant to be crunchy you know what i mean yay those look so good peanut butter. i can't imagine them without peanut butter in them. it just seems like that would taste like nothing Okay, I just cover them up for now to let them cool. So yeah, I don't know if it makes that much of a difference. It says pulse the cream cheese with it, but then afterwards it says then with a rubber spatula to finish combining. So it might be okay if I just use this to combine it and then finish with a rubber spatula. I mean, at the end of the day, you're just combining it. Like, I don't think it needs to be pulsed. It probably just helps it. For anyone who does have a food processor, they were already using that. So they're like, you might as well just, I don't know. We'll, we'll try it. Just at the end of the day, combine it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I remember when I used to not know how to open these. And then I figured it out one day. And I thought I was the coolest person ever. It's always so satisfying when you open it too. Well, not that way. I just mess it up. But it's okay. It's definitely is softened. So that's good. That'll help. There we go. Nothing is more satisfying than deleting clips from your SD card that you already uploaded in a clear storage. Because I was about to run out, so. Okay. I love how I said I was going to time lapse most of this and I've been talking. It's okay. This will just be a longer video. It's fine. Definitely going to use this thing for the cream cheese. Because I learned the hard way. When you're mixing cream cheese, if you have something like this, don't use this. Because it all just gets stuck in there. Like, it'll still stick a little bit to this, but that's easier to get off. Okay. Oh, I am just darn confuse me for a second. Sorry about that, guys. Not me, my voice is coming out already. Also, not me giving tips like you guys asked. So if you're doing anything with flour in here and like you're mixing, any dry ingredient really be careful. Don't, if you have to put it on like a higher speed, don't go right to the high speed because the dry ingredients are gonna go everywhere. And I learned that the hard way with flour one time. So always start on like a low and then work your way up. Yeah, see, don't, okay. I tried going on low. I feel like pulsing is fast, so we'll do a fast option right now. Okay, they're starting to fly out. Okay. Now we'll finish with a rubber spatula. Comment down below what's your favorite thing to bake if you like to bake. Or if you prefer to cook, just let me know. And maybe you'll get a shout out in a future video. I, I keep saying future now instead of next one because it depends on when you watch this and when you comment, so... This is what it's looking like. Okay. Oh, I just had to make sure. So I knew it was eight ounces of cream cheese to put in there. And like this whole time I thought, okay, so use like a box. But for some reason, like just now I was like, wait, did I use too little? Or I guess too much. Like I'm worried if I put too much. I don't know. Cause I just kind of like open this up without thinking and put it in there. You're right, Kaylee. It's eight ounces that you needed. And that's eight ounces. <laughs> Oh, it's like cookie dough again, but cream cheese and Oreos. It's hard to do this with one hand. My battery's flashing again. All right, let's go change it out again. Okay, I got my pan. I gotta get parchment paper. I know we're almost out, so hopefully there's enough. Oh, I think I need some for the other. Uh-oh. Do you think I can reuse the other no, I want to let them... It's I never use parchment paper. Um, so we've had this for like, probably since I was in middle school, to be honest with you. I'm not even joking. Like, we never really use this all that much. So the fact that we ran out when I need it. <laughs> what are the odds? I didn't really think to look how much we had left to see if we needed to get more. I would just, you know, like we always have it. It's so crazy that we just ran out. And when I really think we've had that same parchment paper since like middle school. Maybe high school. I'd be a junior in college right now for reference. <laughs> I'm just not in college at the moment. Okay, I'll just do that. That's all right. Is this a cookie scooper? I don't got no cookie scooper. I got an ice cream scooper. I'll just, and you gotta roll it into balls. But I need the Reese's. Okay, so this is the part where I gotta get the Reese's out. Stuff it in there and then roll it into a ball again because it has to be a ball. Oh, okay, that's not that complicated. There we go. It might be upside down. It's fine. Should I add two though since they're like tiny? It's very 
like slim, not slimy, I don't know what the term is. I also don't know why my voice is being all weird. But that one is smaller, so. Like, I feel like they progressively got bigger, actually. But it's okay. It does bother me. It's an odd number. It's okay, though. Okay, so now they have to sit in the fridge for 30 minutes, and that's perfect because I have to edit right now. So while they sit in the fridge, I'll edit. And then when I'm done editing, I'm, I'm editing my vlog this day four to get that posted. It's a short video, so I'm just about done with it. And then, um,. After the video is posted, we'll make the pretzel. Well, we'll finish these with the chocolate and stuff. And then we'll make the pretzel hugs. Okay, update. I finished the video. Got that uploaded. It's just about done. It's a really short video. So that one takes two seconds to upload. I asked my mom if she could grab some parchment paper at the store. Just because I'm a little bit worried to make the pretzel hugs without it. It might be fine. Like, they're literally only in the oven for like five minutes. So it might be okay. Like, I don't know if the pretzels would necessarily stick to the pan. And like, even if they did, you probably still could like get them. But at the end of the day, we're going to need more parchment paper anyways for something. So she's going to go grab some real quick. So I'll make make those later on tonight so i'll literally just like time last me making those put them in the oven like i don't need to talk for that i've been talking enough already so let's finish these oreo balls let's melt the chocolate dip them in it top some with sprinkles and then i'll see you later for the pretzel hugs there they are come on you guys let's go we should name them all becky joe bill susanna <laughs> megan bob julie <laughs> sarah drew i don't know first names to come to mind Okay, I didn't feel like wearing the apron in the shirt anymore, so I just changed my shirt. St. Patrick's Day for a Christmas video. <laughs> also, shout out to Elena Michelle. She made these. Well, the shirt, um, she has an Etsy. I'll link it down below. She is one of my friends that I met when I went to college, and she also does YouTube. So, stay tuned. She just got engaged, so she's got wedding content. She bought a house as well, so congrats to her. But yeah, she made this, so thank you. I love it so much. Okay, we probably don't need... Chocolate. So I'm just gonna like guess how much to melt. I'll start with this for now and then if we need more I can add more. Do you guys hear my voice? I don't know if you can tell like it's like fluctuating. I don't know what's happening. In the microwave that goes I'm not gonna do the whole stove thing. <laughs> it's all good. All good you guys. I feel like we need some guts by Olivia Rodrigo even though that's sad too but it's so, just such a good album like there's no skips in it and Lacey's growing on me a lot more The song is underrated. I feel like we're gonna need more, so I'll just add it now. Just add the rest of the bag. Let me forget into my shorts. So, bear with me. I'm trying to set up another camera. Okay, I still might need more chocolate, but we have chocolate, so it's not a huge deal if we do. Okay. I just don't know the best way to go about this. I don't really want to. I mean, I did wash my hands again, just in case I do need to. See, I don't want to. Okay. Maybe I'll just use the spoon. Okay, dip it in. Cover it in chocolate. <laughs> All right. 
one down. And I'm gonna wipe my hand. I'm just gonna get messy again. Next one. Oh, there we go. There. That's gonna be the trick. Put it upside down afterwards. Oh yeah, more chocolate is definitely gonna be needed. Bam! <laughs> trying to get one more. Here, I'll do the small one. sprinkles to four of them. You know what? Never mind. I might just put sprinkles on all. Because, like, I, I'm using the tiny sprinkles. I'm sure he'll be fine with it. Like, compared to the Oreo and the chocolates, you're barely gonna, you know what I mean? Like I said, I don't think he hates sprinkles. I it just, it'll look weird if they aren't all with sprinkles on them, you know? All right, um, so I thought we had a whole other bag of chocolate chips. It was actually only like half a bag. So I low-key might eat one of these because I don't think there's going to be enough. That's okay. Um, let me just get rid of that. And just make sure the Oreo part tastes good, you know? Oh, yeah. And then you get the crunch of the Reese's. It's good. It's very... These are definitely very filling. So eight is going to be plenty. I think with the chocolate too, it'll help harden them a little bit. Or like, because the chocolate, when it gets in the freezer, it'll firm, so it'll be hard. This is obviously just soft Oreo. So when it has like a harder coating with like a crunch and then soft in the middle, that'll be really good. Wow, that's a very filling though. Okay, hopefully this will even be enough for three. Use like every last drop. So I got the last one down, kind of broke. Well, this one broke a little bit. Spread the rest of the chocolate on there. You just be careful if you do make these because when the Oreos sit out while you're melting the chocolate chips, they start to get really soft again. And then when you, you have to be careful when you mix them in the chocolate because then they might lose their like ball shape. Smooth this out a little bit. I have this Santa thing. Smooth it. Oh yeah, not as pretty as the other ones, but that's okay. Sprinkles out. Okay. Yay, pretty. And of course, <clears throat> they're gonna go in the fridge. Again, obviously. Yeah, these ones <laughs> look the best. Guys, I cannot with my voice right now. These ones look the best, like I'd say those three. And then because I was starting to run out of chocolate and the Oreos were breaking, but that's okay. They're meant to be eaten, not look super, super pretty. <laughs> Even though they still do. just filming me making the pretzel hugs on my phone as soon as I got done eating dinner I had my phone down with me so I just filmed down there but it died right at the end it just in the nick of time so I'm gonna plug this in there we go okay it's turning on it just turns on 
it doesn't show the batter thing anymore is that an update i don't know but i cut the peanut butter cookie bars my fit by that point like right when i cut them my phone died so i don't have a video of me cutting them and showing you that but i can put an overlay on the screen here of what they look like in the container but here is one of them and I'm gonna try it. They look super cute. They're definitely a little bit done on the ends, but they, I'm glad I told you guys. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I just like did all that and then went upstairs. Well, no, actually, I was also just playing with my dog. That's the main reason I'm out of breath. But they look done in the middle, so that's good. Like I said, I was worried the first recipe people were saying that the middle never got done and it got too overdone on the ends. So both look done. So let's try it. Three, two, one. <laughs> You can't taste the peanut butter at all. So maybe add more peanut butter if you do this. And it's like very dry and like grainy almost. I can't imagine them without peanut butter in them. It just seems like that would taste like nothing. <laughs> I feel like this would be good like with vanilla ice cream or something. Mm, like I'm not a super picky eater so like I'll eat these. But definitely add more peanut butter I would say. I also might have not added enough of the chocolate chips and M&M's. This is what the inside looks like. We'll give it another bite. <laughs> If you want something that's like really sweet because of the sprinkles and the kind of almost like a sugar cookie, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Again, you can barely taste the peanut butter. If I do make these again, I would add more peanut butter for sure. Like, again, they're not horrible. They would just be better if there was more like flavor to them. And I keep wanting to take a bite to see if my mind changed. <laughs> I know I also, I don't know what the difference is, how much it changes or affects it with dark brown sugar instead of light. Or, and then I used, a, I used salted butter instead of unsalted. Like, I had some different things in there, so I don't know. <laughs> it was just really dry. Yeah, not my favorite, but I will still eat them. Because they're, they're edible, they're not like gross. They just need more flavor to them. I know I've been repeating myself, but I don't know, maybe some. Like, maybe the middle ones will have more flavor to them. I know I added the peanut butter last minute, like, I don't know. If I had to rate it out of 10, I'd give it maybe like a 6. Because, again, I'm not a picky eater, so I will still eat them. If nobody in my house ends up liking them, I will eat them. I just need more flavor. So, again, I'm going to say this one more time. If you do make these, I'll leave all the recipe links in the description. If you do decide to make these, just add more peanut butter. Like, a cup, a cup and a half, I would say. Because they just need more flavor. And then... Maybe try to do light brown sugar because like, I don't know if that affects it at all. I'll try the peanut... Well, I've had the peanut butter hugs before, but <laughs> I've never made them myself before, so I'll try those later. There's in the... I was going to say in the oven, in the fridge chilling right now. And then the Oreo balls I will also try. I know I tried the center, but I haven't tried it with the chocolate and the sprinkles. So I'll try one of those later too. And that will be the end of the video. All right, it's time for the big reveal. By the way, football's on while well, it's commercial right now. That's why you can hear that. Okay, we're gonna try one of these first. Try one with a green M&M. Mm. Mm -hmm. Those are just a classic. You can never go wrong with those. Also, I just realized something just now. I was telling you guys earlier how I wasn't gonna do white chocolate with these because we're just more of a milk chocolate fan. And then it just hit me like these have white chocolate in it. <laughs> but I think because these, like, they also have milk chocolate in it. This was up would obviously be more. And like I said, I like white chocolate. I just don't know if my stepdad really cares about it that much. So I wanted to make things that, like, everybody would enjoy, you know? These are really cold. Probably going to be hard to bite into. <laughs> this is what it, how it kind of came out. Super cute, though. There we go. I'm still, like, changing settings on my camera. So let me know if you guys like them. Okay, let's try it. Oh, I knew it was going to have more of a crunch. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. I definitely could have made smaller ones. Sorry, now my, I'm gonna have chocolate on my face. I didn't grab a napkin earlier when I was just. <laughs> I gotta go get a napkin. Hold on. This looks. I look like a pig right now. Just excuse that. So, earlier when I was just working with the Oreo part, at the time, the, the bigger, like, balls, they didn't seem like they would be too filling because the Oreo is just so soft. Or, like, because the chocolate, when it gets in the freezer, it'll firm, so it'll be hard. This is obviously just soft Oreo. But once you add the chocolate, like, you definitely can make these a little bit smaller. And then, plus, because I added Reese's to them, it just fell out. Oh. But, yeah, it'll be plenty, because these are really filling. Look at the little hole for the Reese's. Oh, it doesn't really show up that good on camera. But, <laughs> but these are really good. And, yeah, the Oreo has firmed a little bit because of the chocolate hardening around it. So, so good, though. Just a little bit hard to bite into, so be careful. Mm. I will probably be making more of these. These are so good. So if I had to rate the pretzel hugs 10 out of 10, those are just always a classic. And I would give these a 9 out of 10 only. Not flavor-wise, I'd give 10 out of 10. But 
not 9 out of 10 because I'd probably make them just a little bit smaller so that they're, I don't know, now they feel like really, really big. But that's all I would say. So my favorite out of all three of these would be the Oreo balls. Even though I gave those a less of a rating, I would still, I'd give these my favorite. That doesn't really make any sense, but second favorite, I would give these. And then third favorite, the, the what are they called? The peanut butter cookie bars. Yeah, that is that. I'm going to end the video here. Actually, before I do, here's the devotional for the day. So actually, let me know in the comments if you've been reading these devotionals because I'm not sure. As you can see on the screen here, it's my December 4th devotional because this is Vlogmas Day 4. Or, no, no, sorry. This is Vlogmas Day 5, but I'm filming it on the 4th. So I've been giving you guys the devotional for the day that I film it, but I feel like I should be giving you guys the devotional for the day that the video is up. So I will also give you guys today, December 5th, Fifth that I'll put on the screen here and from now on I'll just do the devotional I don't see because I show you guys the one that I'm reading the day that I film it like you know what I mean so like I'm about to go look at the devotional right now it's December 4th so I'm reading that one so I naturally show you guys the one that I'm reading today but I just I feel like I should show you the one on the day that it's posted I don't know let me know what you would prefer but I'll just show you both for today and let me know in the comments and if nobody comments about it I'll probably just stick with what I've been doing just let me know so Okay, that is all. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it helps push the video out to more people. Subscribe if you haven't already and would like to see more Vlogmas videos and turn on the post notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a brand new Vlogmas video, which will be tomorrow, and so on. Any Vlogmas ideas you have for me, let me know in the comments down below or in the Vlogmas forum that I'll leave in the link. In the, <laughs> I'll leave the link in the description. And with all that being said, I will see you tomorrow. Bye! Jingle bell, 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 bell.